Monday. That's great. Yeah, well, we had a good day today. That's it. What do you got? <laughs> Tired today. What you got? Any uh, questions? Another good day for DeAndre on defense? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, one of the things that we're really priding ourselves in is talking to these kids. And one of the things I can see in their eyes is that, that, that they're really what, you know, there was a little bit of a buy in after the first week. But this last week, I can tell a difference in them. I can tell it. I mean, I'm up here at night, and they're coming in. Hey, coach, I'm watching this cut up. Hey, what's on this right here? How are they blocking this? You know, I mean, really, I can see that they say, you know what? Hey, mate, man, and and I really, I tell them this: the only team that I feel like can beat us is us. And and uh, you know, I talk to them about, you know, you know how we're. It's how we we're doing the little things. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like we turned the ball over in the one yard line. Not one person had bad body language. Nobody got up and slapped their helmet. Nobody did any of that stuff. And what I'm telling you, it's not just about the sportsmanship aspect of it. It's about your mental mindset and your mental focus that you're already on to the next play. And then how'd they respond? You get the next one, right down the score. So, you know, I'm really seeing that. I'm really proud of how we're working defensively. I, you know, the thing that I'm working the hardest on right now is, is I know, I've been doing this for a long time, and I know that depth is gonna be an issue. So right now, we got people that are a long, long, long way away from being ready that we've gotta keep hammering at. You know, sometimes you just focus on your ones, you know, and, I, and we, 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 we got a pretty good football team, uh, but uh, we're going into a very hostile situation. We are definitely gonna face adversity, playing the best quarterback we've played to this point. These guys are working really, really well. I like their mature. They're starting to mature. And that's what I'm telling them is that, you know, I'm not going to allow you to beat yourself. And preparation is the key. So if you don't practice, you don't play. If you don't, if you don't take care of the ball, you don't play. Get penalty, you don't play. There's no yelling and screaming and, and, and anything. I, I want you to be successful. But there's total accountability to what we're doing. So we're starting to see some of the maturity that comes from that. So it's, I've been encouraged. I strained them pretty hard today. They didn't even blink. I mean, I mean, I just, I mean, I tried to, you know, get them, you know, and try to find things that are unfair. That it was somebody else made the mistake, but I'm on this guy, and I jumped Keelan today hard, and and and, and he didn't say a word. And I went back over and I said, Why, why were you on the running back? Did you see the running back? Yes, sir. Well, why didn't you tell me that? Because I didn't need to. You know, so he's he's learning. They're they're learning those things. I, I know y'all you know, you don't know the significance of that, but that's big, especially as early as we are in this process. Well, we really, I think we're really coming along. As a frame of reference, in that you know, with what you're talking about now, how does how is this team compared to other first years and, and other programs? Light, light years ahead. Okay. You know, and I'll be real honest with you, man. You know, um, you 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 don't fit every job. I'm lucky because the personnel here fits what we do and what we know really well. So we've been able to really, I think that's, I'll just be honest with you, I mean, I'm pretty fortunate to inherit a situation like that, but I think we really fit. Uh, but these guys are, it, it's the best group that I've ever coached from a physical talent standpoint. We have a lot more physical talent than people think we do because what we have are guys that really fit what we're doing. The only kryptonite we have is that we had one turnover week one, two week two, and they're looking at me going, what are you all been out of shape about, man? <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, we have two this week, we have one this week, we won't be near as happy. I'm telling you, we, uh, the, the weakest thing we're doing right now is taking care of the football. It's the worst thing we're doing as a football team. And it's, and it's just, it's not being, you know, it's they're, they're not contact fumbles. They're just fumbles. Mm -hmm. Carrying the ball loosely and making you know not making good decisions. So that's one of the big focuses today. We're gonna turn the ball over three times today against our defense. And our defense now, I and mean, we're gonna get takeaways now. That, that's that's our deal. And uh, so we can't we can't have that stuff happen. When we were in here in the first period, we couldn't hear each other. How are they handling the crowd? That's a ploy to run you out of here. <laughs> 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 is it working? It works. Yes. It works. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to go with you. No, uh, I, I personally hate that because defensively, I don't care how loud it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, uh, that's what I'm spending most of my time on. But we need that. We had two or three false starts today. 
we don't want to be the first time we get in that loud atmosphere to be there. It's going to be a whole hell, heck of a lot uh, uh, louder there than it is in here. So that crowd noise is for that. Could you mention yesterday? That was your question. I answered your yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned yesterday um, looking for some leadership in that receiver group. Is there one guy or a couple guys you're looking for to kind of step up and take ownership of that unit? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think uh, Middle Brooks is a guy that we've moved over there that, that can, you know, as he he's, he's really trying to learn everything. Uh, but I challenge Jamal. He's the guy that should step up, you know, and uh, he's the one that should be doing it. You know, guys that have experience, returning starters, you know, are the ones that should do that. You know, Middlebrooks does everything right. He doesn't say much. We don't need a cheerleader. We need somebody that does everything right and displays the toughness. You know, we've got runs last week that should have went to the house, and we, we, we didn't get a block made. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's we got to take great pride in it. I love Chris Coyle. I mean, Chris Coyle, uh, they, they want to come talk to him about setting a school record catch-wise, and he want to talk about his blocking. You know, I like that. You know, and that's got to be our mentality. So, you know, those guys need to step up, and uh, it's hard. That's what's hard is because, you know, when you're out there winning, they're looking at me like, you know, what are you talking about? You know? And then when you get, you, you, you know, I've been on a team that you, you win eight in a row. And then they start going, hey, you know, hey, man, you know, you need to chill out. And I'm entitled to be treated differently. And they're not entitled to anything. You know, every single day, you got you getting better, you're getting worse. And that's what I challenge our coaches to do. And we're, we're doing that. And I, I just think in that group, it's just been hard. I think that we've had with the suspensions and things like that. And, you know, you know it's just been, it's been, it's been, a, been a group that's got to step up, you know, uh, from that standpoint. And I told him, I said, I wish y'all could not practice one day and come down and watch the DBs. I wish you could not practice one day and go watch the offensive line and you'd understand what I'm talking about. You don't just go through practice. You don't just run around. You don't just block a guy. You do it the very best you can do it with the most spectacular effort and most spectacular attitude every time. And we got people out here doing that. So that's what that's where I, what I've challenged them to, to, to do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you little freshman number eight over there, watch him every day. He's staying after and the things that he's doing. We got guys that are freshmen that are doing that. So um, we're making progress. It's just chipping away. That group is the group that's got to step up. I think no further than Jamal Miles. He's the guy that needs to step up.